I'm going to show you what God said. Turn to Deuteronomy 21. I, I read this this morning. I said, Lord, this is Deuteronomy 21. Look, look at verse number 10. It's really interesting. Because God knows we are sea creatures. Again, Deuteronomy 21. This is, these are God's instructions to Israel before they entered into the promised land and he knew that they were going to encounter different kinds of, of, of people, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Jebusites, the Hivites, and all those other uh, 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 bites. Watch what he says in Deuteronomy 21, verse number 10. Watch what he says. When thou goest forth to war against thy enemy, Listen to this. And the Lord thy God had delivered them into thy hand. So you won the war. And thou hast taken them captives. They your slaves. And seeing among the captives what? The Tell somebody, say, we see creatures. Mm -hmm. Here, 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 God is saying, man, when you are in a war and you overcome your enemies and, and you make them your, your slaves and you see a beautiful slave, because you will see creatures. Mm -hmm. That's what he says. This is it. This blew my mind. <laughs> and sent among the captives a beautiful woman, and has a desire unto her, and that thou wouldest have her to thy wife. Watch what God said. Then thou shalt bring her home to thine house, and she shall shave her head and pare her nails, and she shall put the raiment of put. And she shall put the raiment of her captivity from off her, and she shall remain in thine house and be well her father and her mother a full month. And after that, thou shalt go into her and 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 be her husband, and she shall be thy wife. God said, I know what y'all gonna do when you win these wars. Yeah, you take people captive. Y'all gonna see some beautiful heathens. <laughs> and that's why you gonna warn them because they're so pretty. He said, I won't let you marry him. Now, I'm not telling y'all to do that with the other saying. I'm just showing right. you the power of attraction. That's right. The power of appearance. Mm -hmm. Because we're sea creatures. Most women don't rank attractiveness as high as men do. They may want their men to look decent, but women often fall in love with men who are not as attractive as as you would think that a particular woman would require. I've often seen very beautiful women with less than average looking men. Have y'all ever experienced that? Mm -hmm. And he said, well, I get her. <laughs> <laughs> These men know how to meet their spouse's most important need for affection, conversation, and financial support. With men, this is not the case. Most men are attracted to women who are attractive to them. For most men, the first thing that attracts them to a woman is their appearance. Mm -hmm. Sisters, we can't underestimate the importance of this. Mm -hmm. Can't underestimate it, man. Can't underestimate it. Yeah. Sisters, here's some things that you can do to keep yourself